Hello friends, good day. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to set up Visual Studio code for C and C++. Before start to set Visual Studio, first we have to download the Visual Studio. For downloading a Visual Studio, you can visit visualstudio.microsoft.com, then go to downloads. Then there you can do the free download of Visual Studio code. So here I have selected the Windows X64 user installer. I have already downloaded the Visual Studio code. Now I will show you how to install the Visual Studio code. First, you can click your exe meaning application. Then select the agreement. Then here Visual Studio code will show the default folder where the Visual Studio code will get placed. Then click next. Next, here default these two will be selected by Visual Studio, but for me I need a desktop icon, so I am additionally selecting this create a desktop icon, then click next, install. This installation roughly will take some 10 seconds to 20 seconds. So once the installation is over, I will show you how to type the C code in Visual Studio. This is actually quite an easy process, but some additional steps need to be taken care properly. Now I will launch the Visual Studio code. I have launched the Visual Studio code and when you are installing first time, the Visual Studio will ask you what kind of background you want to keep. For me, default will come up with black, but I change to white for make a more clear visibility to the vis uh, people. So here I can first go to file. I will create a workspace. For a workspace, I will select a folder. For that, I will create one folder and I am naming it as C. I will add it here. Then again, I will go to file. I will go to the new file. I will create a new text file. I will type simple C program. I will make a printf. Just I will make a printf to Welcome to GKR Soft. Yeah, I'll just save it inside of the same workspace which I created, meaning folder. Here I'll name it as uh, GKR Soft is the file name. And already uh, the save as type C, it's visible here. So this will save as extension of C. Yeah, now it's saved. But the, you have typed the program and everything is ready. But how will you execute it? For that, we need some extensions. Since we are typing C or C++ codes, uh, programming language, we can take a C or C++ extension pack. For me, it's showing in recommended, but in your case, if you are doing it freshly, then you can type it here, C or C++ extension pack. Then go there, then install it. This will take some seconds. It will not take much time. Once this is installed, I'll show the difference, but this extension is really required to run your GK, run your C program. See there, now it has a two, two points are completely new. One is the debug mode is visible now in the right side. And second one is we have some errors in this. See the error, ash include errors is detected. Please update your include path. This is a error from Visual Studio. To solve this error, what we need to do is, first we need to install WinMinGW. I have installed the MinGW from this side. And I will I have I will mention this uh, web page in the description. You can also download MinGW 18.0 without Git. It's a light uh, package. You can consider like 49.3 MP. You can just download it and install. I have downloaded and installed, and I have kept it in the C drive. See there, this is MinGW folder, and I'm checking whether the installation is proper or not. Yeah, it seems to be everything is fine. Now, first we can add the environmental variable. For that, just search edit environment variable, go to environment variables and you can select user variables. Here we can select path, go to edit. Here we can add newly, but we need to mention this path. Because my case, I have installed MinGW in C drive. If you have installed in any other drive, then you can select that particular path. I have added here, then I'll make it to OK, OK, OK. Yeah, this is fine now. So MinGW I have added in the environmental variable. Now I'll go back to Visual Studio Code. For an example, here there is a problem. So I'll go to the quick fix. You can click the quick fix. Then you can click edit include path setting. Here first we can edit the JSON file. Here 
first we need to add the workspace folder so for adding the workspace uh, path you can go back to your minjw and select the include here see there this reference or path reference i have to add it and while adding basically our uh, default it will come up with single slash so you can make it to double slash and you can save it then you can close this json file and come here and first we need to add the configuration name first we can go with the add configuration it should be win32 then if it is default with win32 you can leave as it is then we'll add the compiler path for the compiler path you can just click the drop down button here you will have a two option one is gcc another one is g plus plus since i am going to type a c code i am i will select gcc then once it is compiler path is selected properly if there is any problem in the compiler path here it will show the warning or error so the, currently there is no problem and i can go to the intellisense mode so here if it is default then you no need to worry you can leave as it is if not please make it to default that's all once these two changes are over here then you can close this and see there was no error now i will run the code now See there in the terminal, we can see whether the code is whether everything is proper or not. We can go to terminal. Here you can see welcome to GKR soft, meaning then my C program, whichever I have typed, everything is fine now. If you want to clear this, then simply you can click this clear terminal. Then you can type your code and you can check it every time. In the upcoming videos, I'm going to show all the C codes in the Visual Studio code. So if you also will install, then it would be proper. My suggestion would be you can do all the things with Visual Studio. Thanks for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends. If you want to stay with us for more technical content or in C language, please subscribe our channel. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.